Good morning everybody, this is Deb. Welcome to my channel. This is my latest video for Jill Norwood's Saturday Morning Makes. Hey Jill, how are you doing? I hope everyone's having a good week so far. I have been watching a lot of the videos that have been done for another collab. I believe it's hosted by Anna White, a snowman of January and they are, the, the crafters out there are making such beautiful projects, beautiful cards, and I'm just having a, a great time watching all those videos. So thank everyone for, for posting the, the videos. Uh, today I have a short uh, video, it won't be too long. Um, I don't have anything planned as to um, order. <laughs> I think you can tell that right now. Uh, first thing I would like to do is welcome my new subscribers. Uh, pardon me ahead of time if I mispronounce your names. But a shout out to Kathy Papasso, Nancy Martinez, Linda Wilson, Dawn Stackhouse, Scrap Diva 29, Kirsten Bruckner, Lisa DeLong, Chavira 256, Daphne Schutz, Nancy Rolf, Faith Blakestad, this is French. I'm not French, so bear with me on this one. Bou de Cour en Papier. Her name's Lydia, I believe. Uh, Beth Kalbach, Jennifer Peary, Nettie H. Creates, Marlene McCann, and Kathleen King. Thank you so much for subscribing and welcome to my channel. This is a small uh, AliExpress haul that I just received. I ordered this during that November 11th sale and it just came in. Uh, nothing new here. Everyone's seen these before, I believe. But I got some of those peppermint clay pieces. These are little uh, snowflake flatbacks, little pearl flatbacks. Really pretty. I got this uh, shaker mix. In fact, it took so long for the package to get here. The seller uh, reimbursed my 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 money on this one, um, but it, this isn't. Now that's gotten here, this isn't exactly what I ordered, but it is still pretty. And then I got this bow die, this double bow. I haven't played with this yet, so I'm looking forward to that. I am so sorry for the glare. So that is my quick little AliExpress haul. This week I decided to uh, use up some scraps. My scrap pile, paper scrap pile, is getting way too big. Um, if you hear noise in the background, that is my husband watching TV. Uh, he's a happy camper because I cut his hair this morning. He hasn't looked in the mirror yet, so um, yeah. I won't say anything more. Now, there was a video put out a couple of weeks ago by Treasure Books. I believe her name is Natasha. And she made some the cutest little houses with spare with paper scraps. And because I'm working on a couple of little golden book journals, I thought what a great idea uh, to use up some paper scraps but make some little tags, houses. I'll try to remember to put her video or link the video below. So this is my attempt at the little houses. I think this is the first one I made. Um, not very pretty, <laughs> but it did serve the purpose. It got rid of some paper scraps and I did emboss this a little bit with a a wood grain embossing folder. I think it was Sizzix or Tim Holtz. So that was my first one. My second one is this one here. And again, these are all with paper scraps. I did sew around the edge and this isn't sewn. This is just a pen. And I backed them all with some coffee dyed cardstock so they can journal on the back. I don't know what I was thinking on this one. Uh, this is a little numbered 
number that I believe I got from Artie Mays. I don't know what I was thinking. It's it's kind of whimsical. That's what they call these whimsical in our olden days. We would say kind of psychedelic, but nowadays they call it whimsical. And then this one here, I use some little dyes I have gr for grass. This one, I think this is uh, Martha Stewart punch. And I put some stickles on here to liven it up a little bit. Again, all this is just paper scraps. I'm not a great sewer either, so. And then I did this one, this Martha Stewart punch. Added a couple of uh, little sequins. Now Natasha also showed how she made some toadstool tags, which I thought that's cool. Um, so I went on the internet, I saw a template for some toadstools or mushrooms. And did these two, which are pretty much the same. That, not a great sewer, did I already say that? <laughs> And then I did a couple more. These are going to be fun. Uh, fun to insert with the journals. Then I had some more scraps left over, so I did some little houses. I think these are probably my favorites. They're so plain, but I think they're cute. And then this is a little bit weird, but did those. Got tired of doing those, got a little bit bored. Uh, so I decided to just cut up some paper scraps into strips. Um, everyone's seen this before. This is nothing new that I created, but I just took a blank vanilla tag, traced around it on some cardstock, and made some uh, blank tags. I cut my scraps into strips and glued them down. And kind of pretty. None of these, um, these aren't really a collection, it's just random scraps that I have. So these are all pretty much on the yellow and orange side. And again, I back these with, um, these are backed with just copy paper, coffee dyed paper, and I sewed around the edges. Now when I did these, I had uh, decided that I would, um, I had a couple little dies, and I'm gonna, I was going to get those out and do some little journal cards with the scraps. This is one of them that I hardly ever use, and it's the cutest little die. It's an Impression Obsession die number, let me see here, DIE222-Z. I'm not sure if this is still available. Oops, again, I'm sorry about the, uh, the glare. So I got this out, and like I said, I was going to make some journal tags. And I cut the tree. And I had laid the tree down, on, just happened to lay it down on one of these tags. And I thought, whoa, wait a minute. Look how pretty that is. So I took a little detour on the journal cards. And... Instead, I glued uh, some of these on these tags. These tags will also be used for my little golden book journals. How cute. Now, this is a little bit bigger than the tag itself, so I cut out some more tags that are a little bit wider. And... 
did this one in the pinks. And then I had scraps that were on the blue side, so I grouped those together, and I says, well, you know, that kind of reminds me of winter. So I took out this tag, uh, I'm sorry, die, which is also an impression obsession. This is DIE 117-C, which is the little reindeer, or deer. And I did this tag. I plan on doing more of these. I hope to have a little container where I have a bunch of tags stocked up. So whenever I do a journal, I can just go to that container and just take one out or two and use them. I also did a couple more. This did not work out too well. Um, I mean, it's a pretty tag, but I thought it would be really pretty. When I put this on, it just, it's too busy. So those are just going to be put aside and uh, I'll put something else on those. Now also you'll notice I didn't put any um, holes in these tags, which I can do later if I decide to. I also left the top a little bit uh, empty, bare, so I can put some words up here, encouragement words or inspiration. Or I can even make the tags shorter and just cut it off. It doesn't, doesn't really matter. I can do a lot of things with those tags. What else? Okay, um, I still had some scraps left over. Well, I got moods of scraps left over. Who am I kidding? <laughs> so what I did is uh, I just cut out some random flower shapes and made a bunch of flowers. These would be good to either make paper clips with or... Um, or just to put on a journal page, a journal card. And you can tell that just, they're, they're all different colors. There's no rhyme or reason to any of them. Some are cute, some are ugly, but they use up scraps. <laughs> I have way too much time on my hands, it appears. Um, and when I get to use them, I'll put a little jemmy or something on the inside in the center but again it's just just something that you don't have to think about and uh, you can stack them up for use in my journals I think that is about it for today um, yeah like I say I hope everyone has a good week coming up um, it's cold here. It is so cold. So if it's cold where you are, stay warm, stay inside if you can, and most uh, importantly, stay healthy and be kind. Have a good week, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.